Hey y'all, um, hope y'all are having a great night and hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. So, I uh, had a guy ask me on one of the posts on here earlier today if I could share a tutorial of how I made some ocean bases. Uh, and so, instead of just sending him uh, a quick video, I figured I would actually just make uh, a video of how I uh, have done the kind of tropical ocean bases for my deepkin. Um, hopefully you can get a little something out of this, uh, no matter where you're at in your army um, building or construction or, um, or basing projects. Um, a lot of the basing techniques here can be used for a wide range of things. I've just put them together in this particular way uh, for an ocean base. But uh, the first thing you want to do when you have your your plain old black base um, is you'll take this beach sand from AK Interactive. Um, I love this stuff because it's it's gotten just enough texture that it actually seems like teeny, teeny, teeny grains of sand. Um, but it, it really gives it a nice smooth look to it. Um, so it's, it's very, very um, realistic looking. It's part of their diorama series, which is an incredible line if you haven't uh, checked any of their stuff out. Um, later on, we'll use this water gel from them in the same, uh, that's kind of the last step. But So once you've got that on there and uh, a little bit about how I actually put this on there, I would actually take one of these, um, if you've got one of the uh, texture tools from Games Workshop, uh, that'll do you as well. Um, but you just take it, dip it in, lay it all out on there. So once you've got the whole base covered, um, I actually took something like this, um, and then I just dipped it in and then kind of pulled up. Dipped it in, kind of pulled up. And just kind of worked it back and forth to get these little ridges uh, all along the base. Now, as I've gone along, uh, this was my test base. As I've gone along, I've saved the ridges for in the water and made the out of the water part of the beach a little more smooth, just because that's more realistic to the way an actual beach is. But you can kind of do it however you want. I liked that it, it really gave the base some texture so I just wanted to go for realism more than uh, the look itself. So once that's done, you let it dry overnight, it does not dry quickly. So give it a good long while. You don't wanna put it on too thick or it will start to separate and crack. Um, so just be careful with how much you put on. As you can see here, it's not, not a very thick layer. It may actually look like you can see part of the black of the base showing through when you put it on and that's okay. So go ahead and base coat it with uh, a white primer or a light gray primer. These are kind of my go-tos for this type of thing. Uh, since it's a black base, I generally will just use the gray, um, but you could use a mixture of the two or, or the white. Steinal Res is a great brand. So you prime it. And then you're going to base coat it with a one-to-one -one mix of rainy gray from scale color or anything kind of like that. It's kind of a cold brown gray. Um, and then I mixed it with Zandri dust. Um, probably a little more of the Zandri dust. So this, honestly, you could probably go with something like this. Um, but really it's up to you. Just kind of whatever colors you have laying around that you think might look like a nice dark beach sand color. So after you do that, what I've actually done is, you know, this is my airbrush. I mixed in the brighter colors. So this was Ushabti Bone and Thar Brown from Scale Color. Um, similar tones, but a little different. Like I said, one's a little cooler than the other one. But I basically started from the front of the base, looking towards the ocean um, to kind of give it this movement. So I would take the airbrush and I would just go straight across this way with it almost. Just a tad bit of an angle, raise it up just a little bit like that, um, and then shoot. So that's gonna catch the front of your ridges. And as you can see here, it's a little lighter this direction than it is looking from this direction. 
So I did that, got that uh, little brighter color on there, and then I went through and I dry brushed with Screaming Skull um, or any similar uh, sandy, bright sandy color, just to get the ridges and get some of the texture of this beach sand terrain. So once all that's done, you can go in. I just uh, painted uh, the stones and stuff with Dawnstone um, Games Workshop, uh, Citadel's line of paints, and then dry brushed them with the with the Screaming Skull as well. I uh, gave them a little shade of the Corellia, Coelia green shade. Uh, and then I took th with the airbrush and I just sprayed the base where I thought the water might be and then went and did su successive um, shots of green to make it look like the water was getting deeper the further out you go. So once that dried and once the shells are painted, I got these shells from a buddy of mine um, who uh, picked these up on an actual beach. So I had to wash them and then I painted them. They won't look right if they're not painted. So if you use actual shells, paint them uh, because they just won't fit otherwise, or at least I couldn't get them to. So your last step is then to apply this transparent water gel see if I can get this open. Uh, so it looks real white, um, but it dries uh, nice and clear. So this kind of just goes on as a gel paste. So give it a nice thin layer or however thick you wanted. I actually did experiment with uh, AK still water. This is one that you pour out. And I tried doing the tape around the base and pouring this in. And it just did not work as well as I had wanted it to. And so I ended up going with the water gel because I could control that a little more and uh, a little easier. So I put some around this shell up here to kind of represent the water um, piling in around that. And then put it up kind of the way I thought it would go. I didn't go just a straight line across because, you know, waves never do that. There is another product they make that's like the foam uh, on waves, and I thought about doing that, but I just didn't have the time when I was when I was making the army. So one day I might go back and do that, but not right now. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So I hope that this video is helpful as a little tutorial for you. Sorry I couldn't actually make a base um, currently at the moment to show you that, but I'm, I'm very happy with the results. And honestly, you could change this in any way you wanted. Um, you could do different colors. You could do different water colors. So like I used a real blue green kind of color, a little real, real greeny watery type color. You could use uh, like a more blue water color. Um, you can make, uh, so I varied the bases as throughout the army. So not all of them came to kind of the halfway point. Some of them came further. Some of them went a little less um, just to make it look like it was kind of varied. So anyways, let me know what you thought um, or if you've got any tips or techniques for those of us who are making bases. Um, but honestly, I hope this just helps you guys as you're in your hobby quarantines and such. Uh, but Thanks so much. Uh, if you're interested, I, I do have a Facebook page and a um, YouTube channel and a Patreon that I just started um, just to help support my local game store during this season. So if you're interested in more tips like this, I'm going to be putting out more videos on how to's and uh, different how to paints. So would love for you guys just to check that out if you would like. Thanks. Have a great night. Stay safe. Stay, stay healthy.